Hello everyone. Today we shall discuss about the geometrical interpretation of a square minus b square. Here you see, we know that a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b. This is the identity that a square minus b square equal to a plus b into a minus b. We will verify this identity with a paper cutting or model. Here you see this is our paper cutting. Here you see. Suppose the length of this paper is A. This is a square paper. The length of this paper is A and the breadth is also A. Therefore, the area of this paper is A into A, that is A square. Right? We divide this paper into another part suppose b this length is b therefore this length from here to here the length will be a minus b right this part is a minus b now here you see if we take the whole area that is a square and subtract this area b square b square then a square minus b square is the area of this part. From here, if we cut this one, that will be the area of the paper that is a square minus b square. a square is the whole area and b square is the area, this much area, this is b square, this is b, this is b. Therefore, the area of this part is b square. You subtract this part from the whole part, we will get the value of a square minus b square. Right? For that, let us find out how we are getting. First of all, try to understand that if the whole length is a and this part is b, then this length will be a minus b. Right? Here also see, if the whole part from whole length from here to here is a and if this part is b then this part will be a minus b right here also you see that the whole length is a and if this part is b then this is a minus b right now if we cut this one here you see that The whole length is A and this part is B, this part is B. That means this area of this small square is B square. And the length is this A and this is also A. The, then the area of this paper will be A square. If we cut this part, then we will get the value A square minus B square. This is B square and the whole area is A square. If we cut this B square part, and remove from it, then you will get the value of a square minus b square. Let us cut this one. Suppose we are cutting this part. The b b square part is cutting. Here you see. We cut this b square part. Therefore, the area of this part will be a square minus b square, right? Let us find a square minus b square. We write here that the area of this part is a square minus b square. a square minus b square. Here we have written that this is a square minus b square. We will find the value of what is the value of a square minus b square. Now see both the papers are of same coincide with each other 
that means the both the paper will have same area. The area of this paper is a square minus b square. You see, we have written here a square minus b square. We will find what is the value of a square minus b square. You see, now we are taking the area of this paper is a square minus b square and we will find what is the value of a square minus b square. You see, this is the same paper of the same area. Now, if we cut this b square, You see, this area is also a square minus b square. This is a square minus b square, and this area is same as a square minus b square. Right? Now, this is also a square minus b square. Now, here you see that this part is b part. Here you see that this part is b part, therefore, this is a minus b. And this is b, therefore this part will be a minus b, and the whole length is a. Therefore, the area of this paper is a square minus b square because the whole area is a into a, a square, and we cut this b square, therefore this area will be a square minus b square. And if we cut this b square, it is also a square minus b square. Now, if we cut this line, cut this paper through this line, let's see what happens. Here you see, if we cut this one, this paper through this line now you see this paper is area of a square minus b square now here you see here you see if we move this paper in this way and put it here This area of this paper and the area of this paper will be same, right? Now we'll find what is the area of this paper. Now you see, what is the length of this paper from here to here? It is A. What is the length of this part? It is B. Therefore, the length of this part is A plus B. Right? And what is the length of this part? This is, we have found it here as A minus B, right? Therefore, the area of this rectangular paper will be A plus B into A minus B because we know that the area of rectangle is length into breadth. Therefore, the area of this paper will be A plus B into A minus B, right? Now we see that the area of this paper is equal to area of this paper, which turn it and, move and put it here and you see that the length of this paper is A, the length of this paper is B, the whole length is A plus B. And you see here, the length of this side is A minus B. We know that the area of this rectangle will be length into breadth. Therefore, it is A plus B into A minus B. That is the verification. What we get? That A square minus B square equal to A plus B into A minus B. Right? Dear friends, if you like this video, please subscribe, like and share. Thank you everybody for watching this video.